Hello everyone and welcome. I am Claire and today we are focusing on active recovery. So we're gonna get into some poses that are stretching the hips, opening the chest and upper back, and then a little bit of core, not too much, just a little. But before we get started, make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you stay up to date on all of the workouts that we put out each week. Let's get started. Welcome back. I'm Claire and this is Active Recovery. Let's go ahead and get started on our mats and child's pose. So bringing your toes together, knees super wide, and then walking your hands out. Feel a nice stretch through your spine. And then if it feels comfortable, you can drop your forehead down to your mat. And start to turn your focus inward. So today is all about active recovery. Our rest days are so important. And focusing on getting some gentle movement is just as important as our high intensity workouts. And maybe just asking yourself, what does your body need today? Does it need some stretching and mobility? I invite you to bring an intention into your practice today. If there's one that you're working with, then you can focus on that. If not, I will offer you mine. And today our intention is, I embrace ease and rest. I embrace ease and rest. It's so easy to get focused on our high intensity workouts, on going hard, but balancing that out with recovery and rest is just as important. Take one more deep breath in and exhale out through the mouth. Walking your hands over to the right side of your mat, left hand comes on top of right, as you feel a nice side body stretch through your left. Try to keep your hips evenly grounded down so not letting the left side pop up. And on your exhale, let's walk it over to the left side. Right hand comes on top of left. Feeling a stretch through your right side body. Coming back to center and then walking your hands back towards you and we'll come into hero's pose. So sitting with your feet tucked under you, hips on top of your heels, and then reaching up for the sky, feeling your spine lengthen, exhale, left hand comes down to the mat, right hand reaches up and over. So again, lengthening through your side body, but keeping your chest nice and open. So just being mindful if you're starting to collapse down here, find a nice lift through the chest. Inhale back to center, exhale, right hand comes down to the mat, left hand comes up and over. Beautiful, inhale back to center, bringing your hands down to the mat into tabletop position. Stacking your wrists under your shoulders, knees under your hips, and then finding a lift out of your joints, out of your shoulders and hips, and then lifting your spine just an inch or two tucking your tailbone under. On your inhale, drop the belly, lift the hips, and your gaze goes towards the sky for cow. Exhale, rounding the upper spine for cat. And we'll flow with our breath here, inhaling for cow, exhaling for cat. Take a couple rounds on your own. Just warming the spine up. Finish up your last breath here, and then coming into tabletop. I'm going to turn so you can see me a little bit better for this one. So from tabletop position, extending your left leg out to the side. So straightening the knee, but making sure that you're planting firmly through that left foot, so not letting the outside of your foot pop up. So planting that foot firmly. And then we're gonna just go, go flow through a couple cat cows in this position here. So dropping the belly as you inhale. 
exhale rounding for cats. We'll do that two more times. And coming back to center. Inhale as you walk your hands out, keeping your hips where they are, but reaching out towards the top of your mat and then melting your chest down towards the earth, letting your forehead drop to the mat. And take a couple of breaths here. Slowly walk your hands back up to that tabletop position. And then bringing your left hand to the center of your mat as you reach up your right hand towards the sky, feeling that twist through your center. Take a breath in and out. Bringing your right hand down to the mat, replacing it where your left hand just was. Inhaling your right hand up towards the sky. And take a breath in and out. One more inhale in, and then threading your left hand underneath your right for thread of the needle. So dropping your cheek down to the mat, extending your right hand overhead, feeling a nice stretch through your upper back. Slowly start to move your hand back towards center as you push up out of your right hand into that tabletop position. And then walking your hands back towards you, lifting up, inhaling to reach up for the sky. And then exhale into gate pose, bringing your left hand to your left leg, right hand comes up and over. Sending your gaze up towards the sky. One more big breath in here and out. Inhale back to center. Bring your hands down to your mat and then replacing your leg back to tabletop position. Taking a moment to feel our foundation in tabletop and then sending your right leg out long, straightening the knee and planting firmly through your right foot. Taking a few cat cows here. Inhale, drop the belly. Exhale, round the spine. Two more times. Inhale, drop the belly. Exhale, round the spine. Coming back to tabletop, walking your hands out in front of you, reaching for the top of your mat, keeping your hips where they are, and then melting your chest down towards the earth, letting your forehead rest on the mat. Take a breath here. Inhale, walk your hands back up into tabletop, and then bringing your right hand to the center of your mat. Inhale, reaching your left hand for the sky. Take a breath in and out. Bringing your left hand, replacing it where your right hand just was as you inhale that right hand up towards the sky. Stay for the exhale. One more deep breath in. And exhale, right hand threads under your body, reaching your left hand forward and bringing your cheek down to the mat for thread the needle. Inhale, unwind, coming back to tabletop and then walking your hands back towards you as we come up, inhale, reach up. And then exhale, gate pose, right hand comes down to your right leg, left hand comes up and over. Inhale back to center, coming back to tabletop and resetting the legs. So our next two poses here are gonna be our little challenge, a little bit of core work. So setting up in tabletop position, 
Bringing your left leg out long, setting up for gate pose. Walking your hands back towards you, reaching up for the sky, but this time bringing your right hand down to the mat, left hand reaches up. So modified plank pose here. Stay for a breath. And then on your next inhale, if this feels right for your body, lifting that left leg up. Modified half moon. Beautiful, hold for one more breath. And bring it all back down to center. We'll do that on the other side, coming back to tabletop to reset. Right leg goes out long walking your hands back towards you, rising up as you inhale. Exhale, left hand comes down to your mat, right hand reaches for the sky. Modified plank pose. If you're feeling stable, if you're ready for a challenge, inhale, lift that left leg up for modified half moon. Stay for one more breath. And release, back down into tabletop to reset. And I'm gonna turn back towards the other direction. We'll come down into child's pose, this time sweeping the arms back by your sides and resting in balasana. Letting your shoulders get really heavy and just rounding. Feeling relaxed in this pose. Take a few deep breaths. And come on back up. We're gonna swing it around to our seats. Sending your left leg out long, right leg goes up and over, planting your right foot on the outside of your left thigh. Taking your left elbow, placing it on the outside of your right knee, and then lifting up as you inhale and twisting as you exhale. Inhale back to center. Exhale, we're twisting for the counter stretch. So coming to the opposite side, bringing both of your hands towards the back edge of your mat. And inhale back to center. We'll do the same thing on the other side. So right leg goes out long, left leg comes up, planting your left foot on the outside of your right thigh, bringing the right elbow to the outside of your left knee. Inhaling to lengthen the spine, exhale for that twist. Inhale, unwind, and then exhale. We're taking that counter stretch, reaching for the back edge of your mat. Inhale, back to center, and now bringing it all the way down to our mats on our backs. Inhaling your right knee in towards your chest. Exhale, supine twist. Right knee goes over your right, or over your left. Right arm goes out long. And take a few breaths here. Inhale back to center. We'll switch out the legs. Right leg goes long. Left knee comes in towards the chest and then over the right side of your body for a supine twist. Inhale back to center, and we're moving in towards Shavasana. Both legs go long, palms down by your sides, facing up towards the sky, tucking your shoulder blades under your heart space, and just letting everything go melting into your mat. And let your breath return to its normal rhythm, its normal depth. Just feel good about doing something to nourish your body today. It doesn't always have to be a lot, just some simple movement and get you where you need to go.
take a few more quiet breaths here. encourage you to stay here in Shavasana as long as you need to today. But if you're ready for some movement, we'll turn onto our right sides, pushing up into Sukhasana or a comfortable seat of your choice. Inhale, reach your arms up towards the sky. Exhale, palms come to touch and bringing them down together at heart center. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you next time. Namaste.